Now, straight after your holiday, you uh, you got home, and then came out to visit me in in Boston yeah. on the on the set of my uh, film I was doing. Mm. How was that? Well, I didn't want to do it, did I? He called up and said, "Do you want to come out?" And do I a favour for me. Ricky said, "Can you do a favour for me?" He thought, "No." Um, well, no, I didn't. I didn't just go no. I sort of said, "What is it?" And he said, "Oh, well, you can just have a part." And he's like, "What's the point, though? I'm, I'm not an actor. I can't act. What's the point? It's a you long are, way to go." So anyway, he said, "All right, don't bother." Then a week later, calls back and he says, "Bring Suzanne with you if you want." Oh, holiday. So I thought, yeah, I could treat Suzanne to that. I thought a little part, a little part for him. They'd probably pay two flights. Mm. Yeah. You know, she's coming out. Like, so, I, thought, I thought, I thought, share it with friends. I, thought, I was, I was, I was a generous having, guy. Yeah. So, so I thought, oh, she'll love that. That'll get me in a good book. So I said, listen, we're going to Boston. She goes, right. Anyway, Ricky books the tickets and that. She can't get time off because we've just been in Menorca. So they said, hang on, you've just had a week off. You can't go anywhere. So I had to go on my own, right? Which you know, fair enough. Uh, I'd, I'd said I'd go by that point it had all been booked the costume that I needed for the film bit had been made I couldn't get out of it I was in too deep <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway go out, go there uh, Boston isn't worth seeing oh. uh, I mean you're talking about travelling the world and uh, you know opening your eyes and uh, seeing new things there's nothing to see in Boston it's it's Dunkin Donuts and Starbucks um, <laughs> there's nothing else is there I'm not being unfair there I mean, it looks nice. There's nice buildings. You mean of. there's not a museum of the weird? There's, um, they had something to do with the uh, tea bags, didn't they? That I told no, you. it's the, the Boston hotel. Tea Party. It wasn't yeah. nothing to do with tea bags. Well, the, it was other, the Boston other than that, Tea other than Party. That. That one of the yeah. founding yeah. events of America. Yeah, know, it yeah. wasn't something to do with tea bags. Yeah. So, so, so other you, than that... It wasn't chimps. There was no chimps involved it in was, the Boston uh, Tea Party. For me, I went out for a walk on two of the days when, when I wasn't having to work. And yeah, oh yeah, only worked for one day. Well, Got three days, three, so three, four, four days in a hotel, mm. uh, all paid for. Uh, one day's work. I mean, it really is. He really is ungrateful. Mm. So anyway, um, Steve, I dressed up as a caveman in some old animal stuff, which you thought well, this was what, for the film, was it? This wasn't just your natural. Yeah, room, yeah. So. so can I just say, I, it was not real fur. I insisted there was no real fur. Well, used. you say that, yeah. I get back, right, I'm run down, because I didn't sleep when I was out there. I'm not very good. If Suzanne's not in the bed, I, there's something, it's like I feel... Uh, what, she's got to be there to tell you to sleep? Oh, Close your eyes in the car. Yeah, just now, and, and now ears, <laughs> stop <laughs> listening. Listen to my words. Yeah. Stop, yeah. <laughs> sleep now, ears. So, uh, so anyway, so I wasn't sleeping, so I was there for four days or whatever. I must have had about one three day, One real day's no. work filming, two, and he was two, shattered. Really. He was absolutely shattered. He was weak, he was, he was, he was ill for a week afterwards. I did I like down. 35 days, mm. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, but you were sleeping. If you don't sleep, it's basic, basic sort of biology. Right? Mm. If you don't sleep, you get run down. Sloths never get a, a flu because it's good, and it? That's when your body's replenishing. Can we just go over that way? Replenishing. What is it then? <laughs> I'm going to burst. <laughs> sloths never sloths never get <laughs> flu because that's when your body's replenishing. <laughs> so, so the thing is, it, I'm bound to get ill. So you know what it's like. You're always like got a cold and that. I'm always oh, dissing you. Oh, yeah, what's it got to do with me? Just saying because you're a bit of a sickly child, so you don't oh, understand. Oh, jeez! I'm only go at the looks no, and then only the, because I'm, you, I'm trying to get him on my side. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, so I'm shattered. I get back, so I think it's a bit weird that this isn't shaking off. And there was some news report about how there's some serious illnesses in planes. Because stuff goes out the engine and into the. Car. Oh yeah, it's people from all over the world with all different things. Yeah, all so, the same so I'm air, thinking, yeah. oh, what have I got? You know, it's my luck in it. So uh, I go to the doctors. The doctor said, said, "Well, you've done a whole day's work, and you're not used to that. Your body's shut down. So it's you a better slow. holiday. Yeah, you need. You need this is when your body needs replenishing. And I am. I am a doctor, and I know replenishment is one of the best. Uh, replenishation. So, replenishment. So, replenishment is one of the best things for slows. So I said. I said to him. I said, "Look, I'm not one to moan." I hardly go to see him. He went. Oh, are you? I my hardly head? see him. I hardly see this fella. So I said, "Look, look I can't sh shake this cold off." Um, I woke up the other night shaking, and he said, "Oh, virus, right?" 
So, uh, which isn't scary at all because everything. You know, well, there's some dodgy viruses. Isn't well, yeah, but there's some. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah, about, of course, the virus. Yeah. What else? Would it, what else would it be? Oh, I don't know. Not a doctor. So, so I said, "Oh, when's it going to go?" And he said, "Oh, might be two weeks. This one seems like a bad one. You're quite clammy." He said. <laughs> so, um, so I said, "Yeah, I feel a bit clammy." Yeah, and he said, <laughs> "Yeah, you will do." So, um, so anyway, so I felt happy about that, and I'm more confident with the doctor. Because you know you've had you've got your vest off and all that, so you think why not just let him do a bit of a body check? So I said, Doctor, whilst I'm here, I think I've got some eczema on my leg. And uh, he goes, Let's have a look. And I said, There it is, there. And uh, he said, That's not eczema. So you got a bit, you've got a touch of ringworm. Blimey! Right? So straight away, anything with a worm in it, you're going, you what? Yeah. It, it makes it sound worse. On it, I was thinking like tapeworm and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's going, yeah, ringworm, and he saw me panic, and he went, don't worry. You pictured not. a worm with a giant well, mechanical arm crawling he, up your back. He could see yeah. by my face was a little bit like, I've got a worm in your leg. He's going, don't worry, it's not a worm. Uh, and uh, I said, how have I got that then? And I reckon it's from this bear suit. That it, I had wasn't, to wear. it was, well, it was, it's fake a little bit her. weird that I had no, it was bear boots luck. on. I had bear boots on, yeah. and where the bear boot was, I ended up with ringworm on my Do leg. Do you know why it's where it was? Because the only bit of your leg showing, because you had bear boots on, fake fur, with a fake fur tunic, and the only bit showing was your shin. You were walking around in long grass. You got it from the grass. Well, no, because I said to him, because I wanted to wear the words bear suit from him. I said, where... <laughs> where, where what's the chances of that? Yeah. I said, where... Doctor, doctor what might I got this from? And then you just shut up and waited for him to say I said, bear suit. I said, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? I said, I thought that died out with rickets, right? Because I'd never heard of ringworm since I was a kid. I remember some dirty kid had it at school, and my mum sort of said, don't go near him. So I said, ringworm then, Doctor. Where have I got that from? Thinking he'd say... Have you been wearing a bear suit? Yeah. Anyway, he said, well, uh, he says gay people get it. What? Yeah. No, he didn't. He did. Why did he say that to you? Well, this is breath? what he said. He said gay people. I said, right, take that off. <laughs> uh, he said, uh, wrestlers. Why do wrestlers get it? Uh... And I said, I, I don't understand the connection. I said, I don't know, you know, any gays. I don't know any wrestlers. And he went, well, it's the, uh, the body, skin rubbing. Um, well, why, why, do you, why do any gay people get it then? Why don't heterosexual people get it? I don't know. I don't know. Didn't, didn't quiz him. But then he said, uh, he said, what about... Did uh, a doctor really say to you gay people get it? He might have said, like, um, homosexuals. Does this doctor operate from a park bench somewhere? <laughs> Sorry, Does he have a lot of carrier bags with him? Why would his first thing be ringworm? Gay people get it. So yeah, I said I said not not gay. Not I said I don't know any wrestlers. Um that's a fact. And then he said, Have you stroked any bald pets? Any bald pets? Bald. He said, Have you stroked anything with with air missing? Bald. It's just yourself. And uh I said, I can't can't remember. And I couldn't be bothered. Was this, uh, well, sorry, were these all euphemisms? <laughs> like, uh, you know, the wrestlers get it, wink, do they? Yeah. You stroke to the, um, little bald hairless thing? Mm, no, doctor. Okay, gay people get it. Let's, let, look, are you gay? Are you gay? I'm gay. I'm gay. Let's, <laughs> I, want, I want to stroke some of bald. So, I just, I, di- I didn't want to get into the bear suit thing, because then he'd be thinking, what's he doing? No, you've got, you got it from, you've got it. So, what, wait, 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 so he had a list of, re- of yeah, he's reading this off a list, was he? Uh, no, he did it from his head. He, he knew it already, so he didn't have to look at a form or anything, he went, ringworm, he's obviously had a few people in there who have had it, and they've gone, ringworm, that's a bit of weird, uh, where have I got that from? And he knew, straight away. So he's, people, he's, had, he's, he's had three people in there with ringworm, Popular. one of them was a wrestler, one of them had a shaved dog. And one of them was a homosexualist. Hmm. Is this the same doctor who, who told said- me that my nerves were too short for my body? Yeah, different fella. Um, so yeah, ringworm I got from from my time in Boston. Well, that was a heck of a story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if the reason Suzanne didn't go with you on that trip was not to do with work obligations. 